The concept of an overswing for a golfer is something that a lot of golfers get themselves into. A lot of golfers don't know they're simply doing it. That's because the overswing generally happens where you can't see it. It happens up there behind your head. So a lot of golfers can be quite conscious of how they're standing to the ball, how their ball position is, how their grip is, maybe even how their posture is because they can get a mirror and they can have a look. But often this overswing happens right behind your head. And for a lot of golfers, it doesn't happen on a practice swing. So they might say, well, I'm going to check my overswing. I'm going to look in a mirror where that camera is. I get a mirror or a patio door at home and I'm making my swing and I'm looking up and it all looks perfect. It's just like Tiger does. It's just at two o'clock, three o'clock there. It's perfect. And then when it finally comes to hitting the golf ball, this happens. Now, if that swing is not something you've practiced, not something you expected to happen, the chances of you being able to do it in a controlled and repeatable fashion, not very good. And often that overswing is borne out by the desire to try and hit the ball really, really hard. So a golfer in their practice swing is probably thinking more about positions and control and checking that everything looks nice and then swinging through smoothly. When it comes to actually hitting the ball, the red mist descends, the grip pressure increases, the speed of the backswing increases, lots of different moving parts, collapsing the lead knee, collapsing the lead arm. Suddenly the club's all the way around here like John Daly in his heyday. And then as we swing down, the timing doesn't match up and often the ball will not fly where you want it to. And for a lot of golfers, the extra effort that they put into it is not borne out by extra distance. In fact, probably the complete opposite, that because the overswing means that they don't strike the ball very cleanly, you might not be uh, controlling your swing very well and the timing might not be there, you could actually hit it less distance with an overswing than you could do with a controlled swing. You look at some of the best players in the world. In fact, John Rahm, just at number one at the moment in the world, and his golf swings barely past one o'clock. But that gives him loads and loads of control so he can turn that big powerful trunk right into the back of the ball. And he can actually hit the ball harder with that short control swing that a lot of golfers can with a really long over the top loopy swing. So what I would suggest for your overswing is yes you can check your practice swings in the mirror and everything else like that but the best aid really is a video camera and video your swings while you're actually hitting full shots. Don't take too much credence into what happens in your practice swings because that might not be happening in your full swings. Go ahead and hit some full swings, some full powered shots and try and see where your backswing goes to. And try and make sure your overswing isn't killing you when you're actually hitting flat out golf shots. Control your overswing to control your ball flight.